My name is Eric Johnson. I'm the production manager here at the Machine Shops. Uh, I have five supervisors under me, and I also have about 25 direct reports. Hi, my name is Fred Chirpik. Uh, I'm a supervisor in the ProtoTrack department. We actually run ProtoTracks, and they do call it the prototype department because we make one or two pieces until they find out that they work accordingly, and then they will go into mass production. My name is Mike Grassis. Um, I'm the operations manager responsible for running a 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week operation. We're in three physically separate buildings, but in total we have about 11 or 12,000 square feet of operation with uh, about 50 or so machine tools. Now the part we have here that we produce is called, it's, a, it's actually a vacuum chuck. It's made out of stainless steel, pretty tough material. This part requires 1,100 20,000 diameter holes. For you, those of you in metric, that's a half a millimeter. Anybody who's machined anything and has spent any time with a drill or a drill press knows that's a daunting task. And to complicate it a little further, you're going through a couple of millimeters of stainless steel. If you're drilling and you've got 400 holes into this pot and your drill breaks, toss it out because you're starting over. We usually send this over to the other shop to have them do it in the Herco machine. But again, tools break, tools need to be sharpened, machines get out of whack, motors on machines break. It's uh, most li likely going to take a couple of attempts. You're going to go through a bunch of half millimeter drills and it's going to take a long, long time. With the IPG laser, we can cut that in a matter of maybe an hour or half an hour. All those holes, all 1,100 of them, no problem. It's an example of a hybrid that really benefits from being able to have both of those technologies um, and are always looking for ways to take advantage of, of both of those. With the laser cube, there is no tool breakage. There's no chance of anything breaking inside here. The holes come clean very fast in the laser cube. The laser is fantastic and it's actually a marvel to watch it put this kind of matrix of holes in. The beauty of the laser cube is that it, it doesn't need any tools and there's virtually no maintenance and we clean the nozzle, clean the filters a few times, but there's nothing else to stock. In the laser cube they have a vision system where it helps you set up with a camera almost like a microscope. You can pick up each hole or individual holes, but it orients the parts perfect on the computer screen. You can see it right there as you set it up. You can do the math on these things. You just use $100 an hour or something like that. And again, you're talking about thousands of dollars in savings. I've been a machinist for over 40, over, a little over 40 years, and I'll tell you, this laser cube was a godsend. To see the type of work it does, the minute parts, the speed, the quality, it's fantastic to have in a shop. I couldn't live without it now that we've had it here. Becoming smarter and more efficient and faster at what we do with a higher quality. So that's always the goal here to do that. It's an endeavor that uh, is made very easy by the manufacturer and the, the installation and it's so simple that in a, in a very short time you're going to look back on that process if you decide to do it and say that's one of the best decisions I've ever made.